It's time for the Rogue Zero Show. I am Mike Jenkins. I am Kareem West. And welcome to what may be, I don't know yet, a season two yes. of the Rogue Zero Show. Yes, nothing can stop us. Finally a season two. N nothing can stop us. The <laughs> last time we met, we were on the secret Jedi Island, Octo, and... Um, I didn't want to see Star Wars ever again after Last Jedi. It's been several years now. That is true. But there's more content to talk about. There's. I, I don't know about more content. I can think of two things that got me slightly interested again. You know, Last Jedi basically <laughs> crushed everything I liked about Force Awakens. All your hopes and dreams. I know we saw separately Rise of Skywalker. I saw it in a, a dark, dingy theater with my parents and never wanted to see it again after. That was the first, at least Last Jedi, I said, I wanted to see what happened to me and relive it before I knew it was horrific. Rise of Skywalker, I've seen once. I fell asleep to it on Netflix again. It's painful. It's, it's, it is painful. I watched it, on, uh, I watched it at my house. Uh, I think I got it on, I don't remember, like, Disney Plus or whatever it was on, and I was literally just watching it on my phone, and uh, wow, I was, I remember texting you like, this is so bad, I'm, but I, it was like I'm, watching a car, like a car crash, you know? I'm, I'm pretty sure that Exegol, where Palpatine was, is where the virus came from, so hence we're, <laughs> we're six feet apart, we've been tested, we're, we're doing extra well here, but... We want to bring entertainment to our uh, now 48 subscribers. Wow, we're, really, we're really kicking ass. That's awesome. But um, Mandalorian, which we're here to talk about, we're here at the eve of Mandalorian Season 2 and possibly a Rogue Zero Season 2. Yes. But what really got me into Star Wars again, believe it or not, was Cobra Kai. Really? Cobra Kai, yeah, a show that honored... The source material uh, honored the original characters and made you fall in love with the new characters. Yeah, it's true. I said, this is exactly what Star Wars should have done. And now in my head, I pretend how good it could have been by living through Cobra Kai. I don't know. But do you think that, I, you know, the, the Star Wars fans are rabid? And I think... With Karate Kid, it's not as much, so you can kind of... I mean, yes, it is it's very It's the biggest good. show in the universe right but now. Everyone loves it. the fans for Karate Kid aren't as insane as the fans for Star Wars. Agreed, agreed. But Karate Kid now has universal appeal where Star Wars doesn't at all. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's true. That is very not true. at all. Han, Han Solo is basically Johnny Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> I guess oh the new the new Han Solo. Oh, I'd rather date Robbie or Miguel. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I think Miguel. Miguel I think Miguel yes, is yes. Like, we we oh, get yeah. social distance. Yeah. yeah, definitely Miguel. Robbie's a little you know he's a little too pretty boy for me. Robbie's a little too uh, golden boy, right? <laughs> Miguel's like uh, <laughs> Galindo. <laughs> No. But I would rather date the Golden <laughs> those, Boy in real life no. than Galindo. So it's very no weird. No I'm references. very torn. Huh? No one Our knows. 48 subscribers know. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and, and obviously this can all be edited out. <laughs> you should keep it in now saying that. Yeah, I, I think I just want to put in awful content now. <laughs> Is my goal. I got my mask just in case. Oh, I have it over there. Oh my god. You, you're not supposed to I'm sorry. <laughs> touch the <laughs> expensive props. As you can see, I I, I uh, expensive painted props. a wall. It should be darker though, I think. I'll have to hire another homeless guy from the 12 step meeting to paint What's my this? wall again. What was this table from uh, the Millennium? Stop okay. it. It's I'm a brand sorry. new table. Oh, I'm sorry. It just looks like it's a Brand new cover, maybe. And our and our our sound budget is real low, so don't bang on it. Oh. You can touch it, but but lightly. I'm sorry. Very lightly. Right. But uh, yeah, Cobra Kai made me a fan of Star Wars again, just because you think, oh, imagine if they honored Luke, honored Han, honored Leia, honored the rules of Star Wars. <laughs> to change the entire. And and I 
got it. I love I loved Finn and Ray after Force Awakens, but mm -hmm. then you yeah. can't just shit on the entire story. You you, you, you kill Snoke. Down. You tell yeah. us Ray's a nobody. And then, yeah. Yeah, 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 you have Luke die of nothing after you know wanting us to see him take. fight one person. Yeah, yeah. We don't even get a fight out of him. It's true. Yeah. It's, so it's you know, I'm excited for Mandalorian season two, but it very well could be. The next Last Jedi. I mean, I they. Don't think so. You don't think so? You don't think they could just start off killing Gus Green <laughs> right away? And he doesn't want to be a Mandalorian. He wants to be like a, a sand person. And then, John, and then Baby Yoda is a Palpatine. Like, why not just. <laughs> they could do that. Hence, I don't want to do a season two of the Rogue Zero show. I don't think so. Isn't uh, John Favreau still directing it? Is he still in charge of everything? I don't know. Right, What's well, going to happen until I see it? So if this, he is, then I think it'll be fine. So this may be fun, and we'll we'll go episode by episode, yes. see if we have any interest. Thank the maker. We, with your help, with your help, we will have a season two. We need more subscribers, though. We don't need any subscribers. I <laughs> don't want anyone seeing this. Mandalorian season one, very. I, I enjoyed it. It, was it wasn't the greatest thing ever. But it was sure, it yeah. was it was like the return of Jedi quality. It yes. was yeah. Revenge of the Sith quality. It was Rogue One quality. It was great. It, it made me want more. Yeah, exactly. Kept and and, and it, it's exciting. I mean, basically, s season one ended with the, the Mandalorian marrying a Costa Rican and not hanging out with his friend anymore. <laughs> what do you think? It did not happen. Uh, Is Costa Rica even on the map of the Star Wars? Yeah, no. that the girl with the strong girl, the bounty yeah, yeah, hunter, right? But Wasn't not... she Costa Rican? Okay, I so. think he should have married Apollo Creed. That would have been. <laughs> I also married a Costa Rican too. You so. did. Yeah. And you hang out less. Hence, that is we haven't done an episode in three years. <laughs> Did you? I've only been married for a year. A year? Yeah. It was a wonderful wedding. You it guys should have saw it. He has all these young kids that come to the wedding and call him master. It's, <laughs> I'm not kidding. You're like, he's there a Jedi. Is. It's very... I didn't know this. I was at the table with Master Bates, some old guy. I got put at the freak table. But that's all right. I'm a freak. He had like real... Friends and family there that love him, but they all call him master. What is what is that? I I do martial arts. I've been doing it for almost like twenty seven years. So wow. after a while, you start to you know work your way up the ladder of uh, belts and things. So yeah, I'm I master. want a belt. Can I have a belt? I can absolutely. <laughs> I'm, you don't just give them away, right? I can give you. I can just give you. I'm, I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Am to. I too old to be trained? Am no, I like absolutely not. really? Messed up Anakin. Am I way too old? No, too full you, of hate? It's it's not Star Wars. You can start at any age as long as everything is Star Wars on this show. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> yeah. I like when the DJ asked me for your wrestling finisher, and I said it was the Safat kick. And he goes, "What the hell is that?" And then I think I heard you yelling, "It's not the Safat kick." <laughs> Oh Jesus Christmas! Yes, yeah, so Savat is a style of martial arts, not pers not an actual kick per se. If, if you guys don't know what the Savat and Crescent kick, it was the old '80s kick before Shawn Michaels dribbled sweet jizz music That's or whatever. Not what it is. They ruined it by making it a, a big dance. It used to be Just a quick cutoff that guys like Sweet Stan Lane used mm -hmm. a Savat or a Crescent kick based on who was doing commentary, I guess, at the yeah. time, Bob yeah, Cottle love, or they, Jim Ross. They love saying Savat kick. Uh, but who was your favorite Mandalorian character? Oh, definitely Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda? He doesn't do anything. Bill Burr, all the way. Bill Burr steals the show. You don't even know who Bill Burr is, do you? I know who Bill Burr is. Oh, really, He's a comedian. You like the guy who Chappelle gave a small role to, okay? <laughs> I think. <laughs> You're like Chappelle, Bill Burr, or something. <laughs> No, Baby Yoda steals the show. Come on, every scene that he's in, yeah. he's cute. But huh, we got the election coming up, and we're both. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're that both. Uh, did you watch any of the debates? I did. I did watch it. Uh, huh? I watched the. I watched a little bit of the first one with that fiasco, and then uh, I watched the the, the last one. Yeah. My favorite was when Kamala Harris gave it to Mike Pence. She goes, "I'm speaking. I'm speaking," and, and she shut him down. <laughs> 
Sounds like every teacher. <laughs> Imagine at the end if she would have said, I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs>